One time for the elect, two times for the elect, three times for the elect. All praise be to you. All beautiful praises be to you. All magnificent praises be to you. The most high you. May his name be magnified for or recover by Shimmy Hood. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming back with another video. Yes, indeed. Let's talk about the power of a steel mind. The power of a steel mind. First and foremost, I will say this. Only a mind that is at peace will be able to be resilient enough to solve and handle problems, ladies and gentlemen. See, the importance of a steel mind is being able to be calm throughout chaotic circumstances. It's almost, when I think about it, it kind of puts me in the mind of, you know, those little, those little movie scenes where it'd be like the, this guy be sitting down in this real busy city, right? But he's sitting down, but everybody around him is just moving just super, super fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, but while, like, while everybody is moving super, super fast, you know, like, you know, doing they, doing they endeavors, li living their lives and stuff like that. He's just sitting still, you know what I'm saying? While everybody around him is just circulating, <clears throat> you know, so that's, that's, that's how it is with, with chaos. That's how it is with problems, unhealthy circumstances. You know, see the the moral of the story. The point that I'm trying to to make is, you know, despite of all of the chaos that that surrounds us, you, whatever me, you know, we gotta train our mind to not be focused on the chaos around us but practice stealing our mind that's within us so we can be able to walk through the chaos outside of us. You know what I'm saying? Because the only the only way that chaos can actually affect you and, and can take a hold of you is if you let the chaos turn your mind chaotic. You know what I'm saying? If you let the chaos turn your mind chaotic, then it will become in sync with the chaotic frequency, with the, you know, with, with the dark matter, with the with the evil spirits that's, you know, that operates these type of things. Right. So, you know, and, you know, that's how that's how situations get out of hand. That's how that's how people are. Uh, um, make decisions that can alter their life drastically and best believe ladies and gentlemen just by one choice by one decision that can actually alter your whole life a decision can literally alter your whole life whether it be good or bad you know but It's kind of like it's kind of like the Almighty. You know, he show he shows you what you would have to deal with in the future. And he take you through situations to get you prepared for that. So when you actually uh, go like going through the situation, it's a it's a it's a form of peace there. <clears throat> it's a form of clarity, you know, 
and that also helps us you know navigate through situations with grace you know because hey you know it, it, it's it's hard it's hard to lose when you already saw it coming you know and see that's you know that's one of that, that that's one of the gifts of the almighty you know to to his seers you know his seers is going is going to uh, see things before they happen and a lot of the times when they first see the things you know that was shown to them a lot of the time they don't even they don't even be knowing what they be looking at you know i, I know i know a lot of y'all uh did experience this you know at the beginning stages a lot of the times when the almighty you know speak to us and stuff like that you know a lot of the time man we don't even know what we be looking at until we actually you know go through the scenario that was played out that was shown to us you know but you know that's the thing you know our situations can either make us or break us you know see me me personally bro me personally you know you know I, I walked through chaos for so long to the point where you know to the point where you know I grew accustomed to walking in the chaos you know I grew accustomed to that but see the thing is I grew accustomed to it in a good way you know because my discernment is always on and sharpened you know what I'm saying it's you know I've grown to to understand a lot of things I've grown to understand the actions of uh of people yep I grew to understand that So I really just just try to go through life, man, you know what I'm saying, observing, learning, you know, because I tell you one thing, people, people going to be people, you know, people going to be people. People going to do what they do, whether we like it or not. But, you know, you know how they go. So I just wanted to get on here, man, to get this little short video. One time for the election. Shalom.